you know, in candy making or even a pastry chef, the cooking of sugar becomes very important. Different degree, different use. Often we cook the sugar into unlined copper. Anything you put in unlined copper acidified, like you beat egg white in unlined copper. And when you don't have unlined copper, you put an acid in it. A pinch of cream of tartar, tartaric acid, or a few drops of lemon juice, citric acid, a couple of drops of vinegar, acetic acid. Any of those tend to work, but if you use the copper like this, then you don't use anything in it. It has the same, the same reaction. So basically you start with sugar, and then we can put water in it, all water, or sometimes a little bit of water, and many chefs prepare to put a bit of carrot syrup, you know, which is glucose, so go in it again to prevent crystallization. You just, you just want to stir it enough so all the sugar is wet, and that's it. You don't want to stir it anymore. When it's cooked, you don't stir it. In fact, sometimes on the side of it, there is crystallization. Sometimes we put a lid on top of it, and it gives you some, uh, some vapor, I mean some moisture, and it melts a bit of that crystallization. So now I'm going to put that to cook. Now let's see. It's still a white caramel, but I think there we are at the hot crack. Watch out with that cold water, be careful. Grab some and go back in there. It hardened right on it, and you can see a little bit of tinge of yellow here. That caramel is hard. This is a hard crack. If I crack it, just explode between my teeth. This is a hard crack. I have a blonde caramel here, and I want to thicken it a little more. So if you put it in water and ice, the bottom will thicken quite fast. And that's what you want. Now the bowl is oiled, prevent sticking. Try to go around, whoop. I want to go from one side to the other. And as it cool off, it should shrink a little bit to come out of the bowl. Again, it has to cool off. Give it time. That's it. Love it in there. And now to do angel air. A nice way of doing it like that is to do it with a whisk. You cut the end of it so you can grab it. And uh, what I have here. So what you want to do there, you want to get a piece of wood and spread. Okay, so this is the way you do angel hair, and the point is that when you have a little bit of the bee wax in it, then it doesn't, it doesn't glue together. You can gather it into a kind of nest like this, you know, to put it around a Saint Honoré cake or something right on top of it at a hat of angel air. So whether you do it on the outside of the bowl or the inside, you want to pry it out a little bit. It does shrink a little bit as it, uh, as it cool off. So it should come out and it makes a nice, you know, decoration for a swan in, uh, in cream puff dough or a little cake. Birthday cake is great. And as I say, in between those, you can put some flowers or herbs. Looks great. <laughs>